Hello guys, uh, welcome to Tech Design. Uh, in this uh, video, as a name uh, suggested, uh, I am going to tell you how the wave geometry link uh, works. So before getting into the uh, wave link geometry, I would like to answer a question uh, asked by one of the user. So his question is, uh, tell me what is the difference uh, between make display part and uh, make work part in an X11? So NX11 is a older version so I hope uh, I'll be explaining it in uh, latest version. So as you can see here I am just opened uh, um, assembly which this assembly will be helpful for uh, today's uh, tutorial as well as this question. So as you can see here uh, we have a work workbench here difference between make display part and make work part. So for example as you can see here. Uh, uh, I don't have a make display part option in my uh, latest version of NX. So I have a version. Uh, you, um, I have a command here make work part. So as soon as you select this, um, this will become your uh, work part. So suppose if you want to change anything inside uh, this model, and uh, you will do a make uh, work part. As you can see here, I have already done and. Uh, this is our work part now and you can see this uh, the other complete assembly is like uh, shaded and it is not active so uh, when you do any operation now uh, suppose exam for example i have taken an uh, edge blend and i'm just going to give an edge blend of uh, 10 mm radius and i will click ok as you can see here this model is changed and uh, if you do work part as uh, any component so whatever uh, the feature that you are doing onto the model and that will be coming under this uh, part navigator inside this part so uh, this is the uh, meaning of uh, uh, make work part and uh, working on a single component so make display part is nothing but i i assume that uh, it will be similar to uh, open a new window so it will open a component in a new window so you don't have any um, you know assembly components uh, uh, to uh, for our reference so you will be al working alone in, uh, in this model itself so this is what the difference between uh, make uh, display part and make work part hope you understand so now let's come back to our uh, to today's tutorial that is uh, wave geometry linker so the option will appear in uh, insert associate copy and here is the wave geometry linker if you check the uh, inside menu inside uh, these commands as you can see here uh, so composite curve, uh, point, datum, all these uh, you know options will be as similar as that of the geometry, uh, extract geometry. Suppose here is our extract geometry. So uh, these options are same. So only difference is um, when you do an uh, extract geometry, so that will be under uh, one component. For example, suppose if I take this as a component and I try to you know extract a geometry of a same component, then you can use the um, wave link uh, sorry uh, extract geometry whereas suppose if this is your work part so for example uh, i will just activate this as you can see here this is my work part now as you can see all the assembly is uh, you know not active so you can just able to select it and hide it and show that's it so but our active component is this one if you want if you do any other feature or any extra uh, you know um, modification on this model it will appear in this part navigator inside this clamp arm. so suppose if you are uh, if you want any geometry from the other component suppose for example uh, from this component uh, sliding jaw or from this screw if you want any geometry you can just go to wave linker geometry here is the straight copy and wave link wave geometry linker and here is the body and you can just click ok now if you see this if you highlight this inside this um, this geometry is copied so you can see here so this is the way how we can use the wave geometry linker i will just show you one with a one example how how this will be helpful so only difference between the extract geometry and uh, wave geometry linker is the is that in geometry uh, extract geometry you will have to extract uh, the features from the same body whereas in um, wave geometry linker you will need to extract uh, geometry from the other assembly components so let me go into you know um, one of the example how we can how it will be useful suppose for example i'll just open this uh, sorry 
I'll just open this screw in the different window. So this is our work window for uh, this jaw screw. So what I will do is I'll just uh, delete this face. I'll just explain the synchronous modeling in upcoming tutorials. So as you can see here now there is no hole for this uh, model. So I'll just save this and now uh, I'll just close this as you can see here. Uh, we have this uh, jaw screw where uh, there should be a uh, hole along this direction as you can see here mm -hmm. along this direction we should have a hole on this uh, on this screw so uh, if you want uh, suppose you have a request uh, saying that you need to have uh, a hole here along this direction so uh, suppose you can see here now there is no hole and i want to make a hole uh, as like this so in order to do that uh, you need to you know import this body inside this uh, component so what we have to do is we have to activate the jaw screw and now it is active and now we have to go to page geometry linker sorry okay now select the body and i don't want to be associated so i'll just uh, remove them and this is our body which need to be extracted now if you go into a new window as you can see here now we have this body and inside this there will be extracted geometry now it is very useful you can just uh, go to sketch and uh, make a circle here and then remove the body otherwise you can just go to subtract and from this you can just subtract this and here you go your hole will be ready exactly at the same point now if i activate this again and i'll just hide as you can see here the hole has come so this is how we can uh, use this uh, command guys guys i'm not going to explain each and every commands on this uh, um, you know window wave geometry linker because already all these uh, you know commands are explained in my uh, extract geometry tutorials which i have made uh, four parts of videos you can go and check out the uh, geome extract geometry uh, tutorial so you will come to know uh, it is although almost everything will be similar to this please subscribe to my channel and hit a like button as well as share my videos thank you